Hey guys, I welcome you again in this another tutorial video and this bit we will learn about Java classes and objects. So for those who don't know me or new here, hey guys, I'm Ujwal and I make Java tutorial just like this. So if you're interested in those stuff then please consider subscribing. Now I hope you all are doing great and ready to learn. So let's kick this video but first of all let's go ahead and check out the agenda for the video. So here we have the agenda for the video guys. Uh, first of all, we will see what is a class. After that, we will see what is an object. Following that, we will see a few real world examples of classes and its objects. And at last, we will wrap up this video by creating a program where we will see that how we can create a class and its objects. So what is class? So guys, a class is nothing but just a user defined blueprint or you can say a prototype from which objects are created. Like it mainly used for creating objects. It represents the set of properties or method that are common to all the objects of a one type. So what is an object? So guys, an object is nothing but just a basic unit of OOPs which represent the real life entities which you'll see in the next slide uh, with saying that a typical class can have multiple objects as well. Now let's see some real world examples of classes and its objects. So uh, assume that we have a class called cars. So the objects for this car class can be the BMW, Audi and Tata, the name of the cars. What if you have a class called the BMW? So the objects can be the details about the car, the details like the wheels, brakes and the mileage of this car. So let's go ahead and check a program example where we'll see that how we create the classes and its objects. So guys, uh, to create a class in Java, first you need to define the specifier. Specifier like public, private, protected and you know there are many more. So I have taken the public here and then you have to mention the class because you're creating a class and then you have to mention the class name and make sure the first letter needs to be in capital letters. And this is how you create your class just by writing the specifier the class itself and the name of your class if we talk about objects how you create the objects so in order to create the objects you first you need to write the name of the class which you have defined here and then you say my objects you can write the name of your objects like you have to give a name to your objects so here i have taken my object and then you have to say equals to new don't forget to mention this new and then again the name of your class which you have defined here and then bracket and then semicolon and here you can just call your object you can say my object dot x and because here is x is y if you go here and you say that my int y and you say this is 10 so in this manner you can just come here and say here and then say y so it will perfectly work fine for you. So this is how you create object just by writing the name of the class and giving a name. The name can be anything. If I want, I can say my object one and here I can just say my object one, my object one. And this is how you create the class. And when you run the program to see the output, let's go ahead and run the program to see the output. So here we have the output guide that says five and 10 because the input we have given to X and Y that was five and 10. Uh, in Java, we can also create multiple objects. So we can just say the same thing and we can come here and we can paste this here and just we can say the name of the object is 2 now. Uh, so now we have 1a and then 1 2. So this is how we can create multiple objects. So here we have created the multiple objects by saying object 1 and object 2 by giving the different name but just writing the name of the class then giving a different name and don't forget to mention this new and the name of the class with brackets and then semicolon. 